shoot it's very windy I hope the audio is okay because my recorder was saying that the level was quite high and it was saying that it was on auto and I don't know how to change it from auto to manual so I'm really hoping that the audio is going to be okay anyway to cut a long story short we were going to come out for sunrise this morning but we decided against it because the uh, weather forecast for this morning was just gray and rain and we didn't want to just come out and have it just be raining and really cloudy and gray and not really worth it. However, about halfway through the day, we made the decision to come out for sunset just to see if the light would do anything for us. And right now, it looks like we're in luck because there is gaps, there is gaps, there are gaps in the clouds and we've got stuff like that happening. So hopefully, oh, excuse the mad hair. Hopefully, when we get to the top of Hen Cloud in the Roaches in Leek, we should be able to capture a couple of really nice compositions. But we'll have to wait and see. This is kind of a little bit of a favorite place of mine. I really like coming here because it's not too difficult to get up. It's not too long. You can come here and do a quick shoot. You can come here and spend the whole day here exploring all the rocks and whatnot in the background. I mean, I've got all this lot up here and it just keeps going and going and going. I'm not sure what that peak over there is. We've never been up there, but there's some gorgeous light hitting it at the moment. So far, it looks like we're gonna get rewarded. So hopefully this will be a uh, sort of, what's the word? It's gonna give me some motivation considering the other day, the shoot that I did, the last vlog that I did, failed quite miserably. I didn't even like the photo, but I posted it anyway. But like I said, at the end of that vlog, it was kind of just like an ode to, it doesn't always go right. Everybody makes mistakes. Even, even the most seasoned of pros, everybody makes mistakes. So I'm kind of glad that it happened because I caught it going wrong in the moment on camera for everyone to see. So, whereas tonight, I think our efforts are gonna be rewarded because despite all of the overcast gray weather that we've had today, right now, the sun is out, she's shining, it is hot, I am so hot. And we've got this, it's absolutely gorgeous. This up there is where we're heading. And we've got it all to ourselves, well, there might be some people up above, I don't know, but I'm sure we'll find out. But yeah, I mean, we, uh, we started walking up here 15 minutes ago. I've been shooting B-roll. Uh, so it's really not that difficult to get to the top. I wanna go this under. I know we're going somewhere.
looks like all us guys have had the same idea. So it looks like a bunch of other photographers have predicted this sunset just like we did. And everybody's up here taking photos. But who can blame them? This is just absolutely gorgeous. A real reward for making the effort coming out. Those, by the way, are my two huskies, Charlotte and Memphis. So, a quick introduction. Viewers, Charlotte and Memphis. Charlotte and Memphis, viewers. So yeah, like I said, in short, a bunch of other photographers have had the exact same idea. And if I'm honest with you, I don't want to get in the middle of that crowd and start taking photos amongst a bunch of people who are also taking photos. I just kind of, like if someone did that to me, it would get on my nerves a little bit. So I think I'm going to try and stay well clear. I'm walking a little bit further up. Um, we've got this little sort of, where is it? There it is, this sort of rock formation peak here, which is where I'm going to head to, see what I can find. The sunset, I mean, it's like absolutely blaring, glaring light at the moment. You can't really see anything, but that's what makes me think that as soon as the sun's gone down, we should get some really nice compositions. But we'll have to wait and see. Jim has stayed back there. Uh, he's, he has jumped in with all those other photographers, which is fine. If that's what you want to do, you crack on and do it. But for me, no. I thought I'm going to come a little bit further up and see what else I can find and hopefully get a reward from it. The light is absolutely gorgeous though tonight. I mean, just here alone, I mean, you can just kind of see now. Oh, again, down here. I am pretty much looking directly into the sun, so I hope it's in frame. I think it's here. You know, there's like a nice bend up to this river here. And if I can get up on this rock, it might be a good composition. Oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Just look at this. Sunset isn't, let's find out when it is. Sunset isn't for, uh, where are we? Yes, sunset's not for another hour. So again, we're in a perfect position where we just wanna find the composition and just wait for the light to happen. That's it, there's nothing special, it's not hard. I'm just gonna find my composition and wait for the light to happen. I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made the other day though. I'm just gonna fire off shots. As soon as that composition is set up, I'm just gonna fire off shot after shot, tweak my settings to adhere to what the light's doing. what we've got is we've got this scene here we've got this rock here which is leading out to that little pool and then those rocks jutting out right on the edge and then we do have some really nice sort of residual color in the sky now the reason why I'm being a little bit delicate with this is because I'm already taking the exposure I learned my lesson the other night basically I've done a focus stack I've done some high shutter speed shots and now I'm doing my long exposure so rather than run you through all of those settings uh, and I am trying to keep an eye on the timer as well I've got 35 seconds left until this one's over but uh, f11 ISO 100 uh, it was a 2.5 second exposure in manual mode so with the little stopper on which is six stops uh, it's giving me a I think it was two minutes and 50 seconds exposure so we have got 17 seconds until this is finished as you can see one last time that's what we're shooting. Nine seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and we're done. And it's completely overexposed. So I'm knocking it down to a two minute exposure because it that last photo was just completely overexposed. Obviously the light is 
constantly changing at the moment. I don't know if this camera is going to show up, but we got we have got some really nice colour in the sky over on the right hand side of your screen now. But yeah, it's not going to compose for it. <sighs> got just under a minute left of the exposure. The light on the horizon is being snuffed out. That's why I'm so glad that I've got focus stack. I've got high shutter speed images, shutter speed, shutter speed images of this composition. It's taken me ages to find it. We've got some chicken sandwiches with us as well, so I'm just going to sit here and just keep firing in the hope that we might get a little bit more light. But with long exposures, you've got all that interest in the sky anyway, so. Ten seconds. Four. One. Come on, baby. Yeah, much better. guys that is the roaches for you uh, possibly the most panicky I've ever been on a shoot hardest composition for me to find it was getting to the point where I was just gonna just start shooting anything um, but I held my uh, my com my composure and and found the composition I hope you like it anyway I'm gonna end it because we've got to get back down it's starting to get dark the moon is out, I don't even know if you can see that. But the moon is out and we've got a good half an hour walk back down to the bottom, so. And then we're gonna have chicken sandwiches. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, then please subscribe. Hit the bell if you wanna be notified every time I upload a video. And apart from that, I'll see you next time. Choose the life path.